But let's uh, talk about a couple of stocks which are managing to be in focus on account of their pre-quarterly uh, sales figures. And this is in our special segment, Value Add. Manglam is here. He's focusing on jewelry stocks. Titan, for example, is your top gain on the Nifty at this point in time. Kalyan Jewelers is doing well. And remember, people are buying jewelry despite the fact that the rupee has been depreciating as well. So, uh, Manglam, tell us more about... Um, what the sales look like and what might the trend be also? Well, Whether you're buying jewellery or not. I'm not buying jewellery <laughs> anytime soon. But, you know, while the rupee has depreciated, gold prices have also come off from the peak. So that makes people want to buy it. But what's heartening about the second quarter this time around is that second quarters are usually lean for jewellery buying because uh, you don't have the wedding seasons, there's a fair amount of monsoon and also there is uh, the Shraad uh, festival or, or the Shraad season where, you know, the not, a, uh, not a lot of auspicious things are done. But despite that, we saw good uh, uh, gains coming in in terms of sales growth for both Titan and Kalyan. What I'm trying to, you know, decode here is the difference between Titan and Kalyan. Titan, for perspective, is three times the size of Kalyan. But despite that, they grew around 18% on a base of 66%, whereas Kalyan grew 20% on a base of 61%. That's not 16 61 percent and if you take a look at the india business itself titan has grown 18 percent whereas kalyan jewelers has grown 14 percent so basically titan has outperformed uh, uh, you know kalyan jewelers as far as the india business is concerned why is it that Tit uh, kalyan has then grown faster well because a relatively smaller part of their business which is middle east has grown about 65 percent middle east contributes around 16 percent to their overall sales as far as uh, you know store addition is concerned as well kalyan jewelers has added five stores in the past quarter whereas titan has added 25 stores so on a higher base the company is adding stores at a much faster clip and what does that mean for margins kalyan jewelers has seen a fair amount of competitive intensity remember a higher share of revenue for kalyan jeweler comes in from plain gold which is a gold jewellery, etc., lower margin business. Whereas for Titan, they saw better studded ratio this time. So diamond jewellery doing well for them. That means their margins will do well. So not only has Titan grown faster than Kalyan, they've expanded their store footprint faster than Kalyan, and their margins are also likely to be better than Kalyan. So why is it that both the stocks are moving at the same clip right now? Valuations. Because Titan trades at 60 times FY24 earnings, whereas Kalyan trades at just around 25 times. So not mm -hmm. only is Titan three times bigger than Kalyan, it's also three times pricier. More expensive. Than, uh, okay. Kalyan. And uh, we always talk about Titan as far as jewelry is concerned, right? But watches segment has also done yeah. very well, up about 20%.